Hey guys, what's up? Joe here, playing some Blue Dragon for the Xbox 360, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. This is part 126, and hopefully the last part of my Let's Play, until I do some uh, minor, you know, optional boss stuff and collection stuff, uh, whenever I feel like it, which I may or may not do, depending on my mood, and I probably won't, to be honest. I would love to, but, you know, I've got a lot of things I have planned for, ne for after this game. So let's, uh, let's get back to the cutscene. Stop! Don't do it, Zola! You don't have to follow the same path as Nene! Lady Zola! <laughs> I will be the one to decide how to use this power. Zola! Lady Zola! Please don't do this! <laughs> huh? Now it's over. Big mistake. Lady Zola! What about? You really are borrowed, Lady Zola! You really yeah. did it! What a great plan! You really had us fooled. Was this your plan? Is this what you wanted from the beginning? Maybe so. My heart was beaten down by betrayal once before. And I was tempted by what it was that Nene's magic had to offer. But now, that's changed. Because there was someone who taught me how to use power. <laughs> Who's that? Double. If so not as it needed, I will take it! Stop! Cough it up, now! <laughs> I don't think so! <laughs> What's going on? What's happening to Zabo? It's not Zabo. Then who? <laughs> it's you! Dance Roy! Probably saw that coming. Yay! This is the real boss fight, guys. Whoa! That's the creature we saw in the murals! The bioweapon that destroyed the ancient civilization. This is the beast's true form! What's it doing in this place? Nene said he had discovered it in the ruins soon after he awoke from his sleep. He cherished it as a last living remnant of his past that exists in this present time. An era that has forgotten how to use magic. Awesome. Boss fight, boss fight, boss fight time! I am the same as you, mercenary. I too awaited my chance, fighting my time with Nene. Alright, this guy is supposed to have about 20,000 HP, so, uh, be careful. And he should be pretty strong, but I think I could, uh, hold out against him. Let's see. Let's try fire out first. Is magic good or bad on him? I don't know. Ugh. He smirks. Don't give me that. Don't give me that smirk.
Ooh, critical. Awesome. Already off to a good start. <clears throat> Hit it with fire. Come on, get a critical this time. Come on. Oh, that was weaker. It's with a dramatic camera change, though. I don't get that. <clears throat> Flourish sword. Awesome. Critical. Yay. Already taken out at least ten half this guy's health. Not bad. Or I assume I have. I don't know. This game needs to have health bars. That'd be great. Destroy! He has his no soundtrack? Come on! That might be a little too powerful, though. Maybe I should have saved the dragons for after I beat Destroy. I don't know. But I love how easy it made the final, uh, final boss region. I love that. Can't really hear his music though. I think it'll be kind of too loud for it. Will this kill him? No, not quite. If it did though, I'd be yeah, a little slightly disappointed. But, you know, I'll probably kill him before it's his turn anyway, I don't know. I'm hitting him with pretty strong attacks. No, he just keeps rubbing off. We're not even building any tension against this guy, really. That is Zola's turn. I'll just kill him. He's ugly. <laughs> Alright, come on, Zola. There we go. Got him before it's his turn. Awesome. I love doing that. Limited power! Just blows up. <laughs> Too much stuff is happening. My Xbox CPU cannot handle it. Maybe it's supposed to be slow mo. Whatever. Pretty easy boss fight in my opinion, but that's because I'm like level 80, so. If you guys did not fight the dragons beforehand, you probably had some difficulties, and if you fought the dragons beforehand, you probably got it through like cake. Probably. Come on, do a thumbs up! Little finger at least? Come on. Oh well. We're not even moving, we're just standing there. It takes them two minutes to fall down into lava, and we're just kind of standing there, like all slow, like not paying too much mind. Just like, oh my god, what's happening? My mouth is really drying out from all this talking. Hit the thumbs up. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Peace sign. No. Nothing. Just a hand. Then he have a ring in his palm, you know. Get a ring in his palm. That'd be something great. What are we going to do with this? Oh, it broke. It's all over now. The fighting, anyway. There's still more to be done. The world, we need to restore it. <laughs> Let's do so. How do we do so? Um... Doesn't look like there's any items around here. That's, that's cool. Back to the portal. Ta dun ta dun ta dun. Do 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 do. 
do 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 Awesome. Primitive cube controller chamber. Here we go. Hit the console. So much of Assassin's Creed a little bit. Bing! You are now free to move about the cabin. Is the egg thing rotating? That's cool looking. I like it. <laughs> it's so bright. The music's good too, if only you can hear it. Shark stopped. Storm stopped. The plants stopped. Don't be fucking scared out of my mind. The storm stops here. Yeah, the baby's okay. Yeah, <laughs> look at them. Huh. His door's open again. It's all shiny now. Gee, she's pretty young. The cubes are in perfect alignment. Shower of sparks all over our faces. Wow, that looks awesome. I like how there's like no stars or atmosphere around the planet though. <laughs> or uh you know, whatever. Yay! The world has changed so much. I think I'm gonna have to find a new kind of flower. <laughs> then here comes the signature music. Playable. Look for it. Hey, there's a flower right there. What do you know? I'm gonna put it in a pot. Yeah. I'm a hippie. Yay, hippiness. I am so happy. Happy go lucky. Yeah. All right. Maybe just fly off. <laughs> Where'd everyone else go? Where are you guys? Awesome. Awesome stuff. How was that? I've become better at it. Yes. Taught him magic. Do you think that magic will ever come back to life in us? And what use will we have for it in a time of peace? I wonder how magic will affect our future. There's no need to worry. It's up to you to decide how you approach magic, your majesty. So the light within us, and how we use it, surely depends on each of our hearts. Shu and his friends taught me that lesson, Your Majesty. I see. Although, I don't think it ever really occurred to them that it was their hearts that made me realize what magic truly is. Hmm. Wow, that's cool looking. You know, this part I'm going to let stretch on just a little bit past 15 minutes, guys. Then the credits will be its own video. Maru Maru? What is he doing here? Hi, Maru Maru. Ladies, hola. Were you there the whole time? What? You saw Maru? The disciple must not leave the master's side. Huh. Guess we never find out what happens. I mean, assuming he keeps making all those like uh, point outs to the ring that she's wearing, so I'm assuming that her and the king are getting it on or something. I don't know. Maybe, probably. But Mar Maru is apparently an apprentice or something now. But for what and why? I don't know. Robots are helping to rebuild. That's great. Hi, 
I know that place. Do I? Do I know this place? That's what I need to know. Well, this place is... Why don't you have Kilasso Village? It's a bit different, though. Nothing, man! Huh. Is there any two nothings? What exactly are these nothings? Perhaps you can tell me, no? Oh, nothing. nothing. What do you know? Well, that we have just discovered the secret of nothing, you my friends. I think she inhaled there. Oh, hey, there she is. That's a cute girl I like. Now, let's all sing. What's his name? But everyone's singing now. Great. Is that girl with the doggy? Marumini. Oh, hello, Shifa. I'm teaching him how to stay. Oh, that's cute. You're the man to save the world. You're amazing. I'm going to try to be strong too. Hi, Papa. Next time you go on adventure, won't you bring me along? I might even take ten years off my age. Ho ho ho! And here's a little girl, Kabura. He's also really cute. <laughs> I don't care about everyone else. What the fuck is a poo snake doing here? <laughs> Stupid poo snake. Oh, he's gonna confess. This is sweet. Um, don't this guy, dump up. <laughs> he thinks he did it. Oh, the elder, Davila. She's hot. Um. Oh, hello, Shira, Shira. Zavo. Awesome. Yosato, that's his name, alright. Memory chip, alright. Zabo. Hey Zabo, what's up? Hmm. Alright, screw this, let's go talk to... Kluke! It's her birthday! Hello, birthday girl! What? Ah, the flower, hello. Why don't you have a flower? Hey Kluke, happy birthday! Thank you, Shu. So, um, Jiro, have you given Kluk your present yet? <laughs> Look at these guys. Listen, you two, I still don't know. Here, this is your birthday present, Kluk. A flower. Oh, it's lovely. Thank Beat that, Jiro. Well, that's so unlike you, Shu. Well, it's a new world out there, so I figured there was going to be new flowers around. Yes, I've never That could be a sex life. joke. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's great. Boy, you have no idea how hard it was to find either. Clues, you know, a while back there I started to... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wait a minute. Here's my present. <laughs> Thank you, Jiro. May I open it? Mm -hmm. Please do. What is that? Wow, this is lovely too. I could make it into something pretty for you to wear. Maybe a pendant or something for your hair. Just tell me whatever you'd like, and I'll make it for you. <laughs> me too. Me too, Kluke. Hey, ask me. I can make you something too. Any. But your flower will die. Well, we could turn it into a dried flower, or we could make it into some potpourri. Kluke, you're always taking his side. That's not true. Kluke, you have to make a decision. What? Come on, tell us already. <laughs> Which one of us do you like? <laughs> oh. End credits, come on. Uh can you guys wait until uh my next <laughs> Her voice acting there was awesome. So was theirs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I love those kids. I love those kids, seriously. Those kids are probably my favorite part of the game. I don't care about them. Oh, hey, these guys are cool and they're all fuzzy. That place is nice. Oh, there she is. She's cute. <laughs> oh. So everything takes place on a queue. So... We didn't fix the planet. Uh-oh. Oh, credits, guys. I'll be running those in the second video. Uh, next video. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to end my commentary here. No commentary for the credits. I thank you guys for watching all 126 and uh, that what seemed to be 127th part of this walkthrough. And hopefully it helped you or you enjoyed it or perhaps, you know, you don't care. You just want to see what the game is like. Uh, well, there you go. Um, my commentary... I think it changed quite a bit along the road. It was quite a long road, I think. A uh, good road. Um, started in 2010, finished 2011. February through March 2011, and October, November, November, December of 2010. I had a pause around January and late December when I didn't do any of the game. And I think between that pause and when I started again, my commentary really started to make a change. But it wasn't until Disc 3 that I really got some good commentary going, I think. I don't know. But, you know, overall my commentary just kind of goes along with the game. Uh, never really talking about anything serious or much about the game at all, either. Because, you know, I played it blind. I got bored at times. I did a lot of grinding. I get, did a lot of uh, monster battles, I guess. Did a lot of exploring around. I think I did quite well through the game. Um, I'm sure some of you are better at me, better than me at this game. That's cool. That's fine. I don't mind. Uh... I did have fun with this game. This game was pretty good. Uh, a lot of cute stuff in the game. Um, <clears throat> it's a pretty good game. Um, hmm. Is it an A game? Yeah, I, I give it an A. Um, why? Because, you know, a game I played through all... If I played through an entire game all the way through, um, of course it's going to be an A. A game that's not an A, I'll probably stop halfway through. We're not even halfway through. But, you know, games that aren't A games, I just don't really finish. Uh, you know, maybe. Usually not. But, you know, this game, A game. Would you play it? Should you play it? If you have an Xbox and you got $10 to spare, go get this game used or something. Uh, cheap buy. A uh, lot of hours of gameplay. But, you know, those hours of gameplay can be spent playing better games. But, you know, up to you to make the decision. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on my next LP. Um... And maybe run Game Anyone. Guys, GameAnyone.com. Best place ever for video game walkthroughs. Go check it out. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. And goodbye.